it is an old computer, it's from 2007, but you know, the solid state drive should speed it up a bit. I would recommend cleaning it first for obvious reasons. Hi, I'm Techno Ted, and we're gonna work on this iMac. We're gonna upgrade the hard drive to a solid state drive and we're gonna clone it. So we're gonna do it the easy way. So the first thing we need is a way to connect the solid state drive to the, to the iMac. So we've got this slot drive. I'm just gonna plug it in here, turn it on. So it shows up as a drive on the desktop if, you, if it doesn't for you, you just go to Disk Utility. If the drive you're installing is originally from a Windows computer, you may need to use Disk Utilities to create a new partition so the Mac can recognize it. Once you do that, you install something called SuperDuper. Uh, search Google for SuperDuper. And you come up with Shirt Pocket, which is shirt-pocket.com. And here, you go to the right side here, it says Download. And then you can download the file, install it. In your applications folder, at this point you choose your local hard drive, and then you choose the solid state drive you want to copy it to. Click copy now, type in your password. Once you tell SuperDuper to copy the drives, it could take several hours for it to finish. Okay, I'm gonna jump to the end here so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, so it finished, and it's successful, so we'll click OK. So now we just need to turn off the computer and install the solid state drive. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off, pull this disc out. So the next step is to remove the glass panel on the front of the display so we can remove the display and then therefore replace the hard drive. This display is held on by magnets. So we need a suction cup to remove the glass panel. Everyone has a suction cup in their house. It's called a plunger. I would recommend cleaning it first for obvious reasons. Now I just gotta remove all these screws. We've got the screws out. I'm gonna mount the, um, the solid state into this bracket so that I can install it in a larger spot. So I just mount this on here, and then it's gonna mount right inside here where the normal hard drive goes. It is an old computer, it's from 2007, but you know the solid state drive should speed it up a bit. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna mount this on here, so it's like right up to the edge, like that. So I'm just gonna prop this display up instead of pulling that power cable off over there. The power cable isn't always easy to get back on correctly. Right, so this is the temperature sensor. Pull it off temporarily. We gotta push this in. Pull these off. Yep, this is going here like that. So we just have to get the screws lined up. Here I'm installing the temperature sensor for the hard drive on the solid state drive. I'm filling it on the actual drive, not the metal bracket, because it'll work better. Okay. 
and a tight fit. Okay, looks like it's all on there. Hey, it works. So it is really super duper because it's free software that you can clone your drive with. We've got a solid state in here now and it's a little speedier than it was before. It's still an old computer. It's from 2007, so you're not gonna be doing any amazing things on it, but it works for GarageBand. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and hit a thumbs up if you like it and we'll see you next time. And scene. By the way, I don't know how to play a piano. I was just faking it. See you next time.